Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. I am not much of a speaker. Uh, I was initially a little confused as to what this event was really about. I was not sure whether I was addressing corporates or whether I was addressing sports people. But once I got here, I got an idea of what was happening. And for the first time, I met Puneet. Uh, I think G event management is on to a very good thing here. We are in the Olympic year. And the Olympic year has been a year which, you know, brings on a lot of thoughts into my mind because every four years I am reminded that back in the 1970s I was a long distance runner, I was a middle distance runner. The only thing that happened was that the legendary Sri Ram Singh ran ahead of me. He got to go to the Olympics. I didn't. But that's okay. Sachin Tendulkar didn't get to go to the Olympics. Gavaskar didn't go to the Olympics. In fact, cricket didn't make it to the Olympics. So I, I guess it's okay. We, we do have this um, sacrifice that all of us need to make. We have childhood passions uh, that we would wish to continue, but in the pursuit of a livelihood, the pursuit of a career, we tend to leave these behind. The best passions are left behind. So, despite the fact that I am here, Sachin Tendulkar continues to play cricket. Despite the fact that I am here, Usain Bolt, is going to return to the Olympics. I'm busy. I don't have the time because I have to do my annual returns. The long distance runner, Paula Radcliffe. Now she's going to be doing her long distance running at the Olympics. The only thing I'll be doing is my long distance outsourcing. I mean, that's what corporate life has become for us. You know, everything is work, work, work. But this is where I think G events makes a big difference. They bring back the passion of our childhood. They bring back our interest in life. And suddenly you find there are a lot of activities you can do outside your work, which keeps you stress-free, keeps you happy, makes life interesting for you. So I guess this evening is very unique in that aspect. Uh, I have a little story to relate. I won't take very long. I was never a good cricketer. I could never play cricket. I found myself spending my time with martial arts, athletics, horse riding, a whole lot of things that I could do, but I could never play cricket. But there was one sixer I hit in my life. I want to tell you about this one sixer. This was back in 1988. I was working in the tea plantations. I was a manager in Assam, in the tea plantations. And in the tea plantations, uh, cricket, I mean, this is my first experience with corporate cricket, okay? Uh, cricket is played in a very colonial way. I mean, you know how the plantation people live. They have their big bungalows, their servants, they have their planters club and then every weekend everyone's going off to play cricket in white. So I decided that throughout school, since I couldn't play cricket, here was one chance for me to play cricket. And so, as a young assistant manager, there I found myself in a plantation club one Saturday and we went out to play cricket. And I said, as I said, it's played in a very, very colonial atmosphere. Now, I'll tell you what I really mean by this. I stood there. I was handed over a bat. I was told I was going two down. I would be batting two down, whatever that meant. Anyway, they padded me up. And I was terrified because what I saw before me was a person whose name I had known for a long time, a gentleman by the name of Imran Haq. 
who was a very, very fast bowler, a pace bowler. And if you see me swing my bat, I tell you, even Tipu Sultan would be, you know, crying with envy if he saw me swinging my bat. I mean, I didn't know how to hold it in the first place. But anyway, there I stood and they bowled. The first ball passed me, I didn't see it. Then I decided there's one little secret I had. I was told during my boxing and martial art days that one of the things you need to do is to give a dirty look at your opponent. I give him a tough look. And that's what I did. I stood there and I gave a very tough look at that bowler. Then I've seen on television, I've seen on television uh, batsmen measuring the pitch with their bat and making a little notch on the floor. So I did all that to frighten him. Then I finally stood there and I was about to hit. But I looked up and I couldn't see the bowler. And I realized that there were a lot of cows crossing the pitch. Now this is Assam, you must remember. Cows were, and you can't create problems with the neighboring villages, so you had to wait till the cows passed before the bowler came at you. Fortunately, I was saved because a car came in and a young couple who were just, was just married. This young assistant manager was bringing his bride. On that Saturday, they had just arrived after their wedding. So that called for a beer. So we all left, walked up to the pavilion, and I kept giving a dirty look at that bowler who was going to bowl at me. And we had our first beer. That's how cricket is played in Assam. Then I saw the bowler tossing the ball and rubbing it on his trousers because he was going to be bored. When I saw that, I asked for one more beer. I had that beer. Then we got back on the pitch. And finally, he bowled at me. I swung my bat. I intended to hit, I was told later, I was, intended, I was intending to hit a square drive. Something hit the edge of my bat and the ball flew right into the neighboring village. And that was my first sixer when I saw the umpire going. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to tell you is you know, that even as a player, as a person who's never played cricket before, I enjoyed myself when we played corporate cricket. Because it was not so much about winning, it was more the involvement, the passion, the fun we were having, so, I think we all have excuses not to exercise, we all have excuses not to be playing games. But I think what G event management is doing is really bringing out your childhood passions and I think more and more corporates should get involved into reviving your childhood interest, be it anything, be it any game, not necessarily cricket, but any sport. On a last note, I had a very, very heavy, a very heavy man as my boss. A very, very obese and very fat man as my boss. And he had one excuse. You can think about it. His only excuse used to be, if God intended us to jog, he used to tell me, if God intended us to jog, he wouldn't have made us fat. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. I'm sure a lot of cricketers out here will relish our first sixes, don't we? I can't hear you. Won't you score your first six and won't you remember that? You would, right? It's now time for us to talk to our next chief guest, Mr. Surya Narayan, to take over.